Today, I'm walking through Let's Build an Abomination. Hey everyone, Derby here. Welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. As we jump into it, you're going to see there are some replays happening in the back of people attacking my base and people attacking other bases. Think of it as a preview of the whole if you haven't coined the whole thing yet. I know I certainly have not. On that topic, this is all just in my brain here. It's not a secret alliance build. If you don't like me sharing PvP builds, don't watch the video. And it's nothing I've tested. I haven't gone through 17 different permutations trying to figure out what armor specials work best. I'm sharing you my thoughts here. I'm going to jump into the blank hole, then talk about weapons, specials, and the six things you want to do on specials in Conqueror Holes and Battle Pirates, and finish out with the armors and a general discussion of the hole. First of all, the blank stats here, 160 million armor points compared to the what other, whatever the other hole is, the Exterminator at 125 million, so priority targeting will affect the Exterminator rather than this one. That might be something you want to consider. Evade does start out negative, Stun Resist is very high, which is great. Ballistic Deflection is negative, other deflections are decently high, except for Penetrative where there is zero. We'll circle back to that when we talk about armors. We also do have a pretty low combat speed, if I'll be honest, as well as a few other stats. The interesting one is this corrosive built-in weapon, the Acid Drill, which is only affected by building damage bonuses, which means that it really won't do too much to ships, but should do a whole lot to buildings. You'll notice in some of these replays, people are going to be attacking my Badgers with the Drill, and it really does not do a whole lot, but it is insane against portals. It melts those things in one or two seconds. It is at a minimum or low time of 0.2 seconds already. Jumping into the weapons, the Really, the only option is putting on the one that came with the hole, which is the Desecrator or the Desecration Scattergun. This thing is really good. Not quite as good as you might think because it is split up as a multi-shot of five, so you might want to consider that if you're running any sort of damage calculations. It's not quite as good as it looks, but it is easily the best Scattergun over 100 times better, I think, or 10 times better, whatever. Okay, now we're going to jump into specials. In my opinion, what I've been saying for the past year or so, is there are six different stats that are important for holes and battle pirates, conqueror, conqueror holes and battle pirates. That is speed, evade, tactical field resist, stun resist, building damage, and weapon type specific damage. Jumping into these specials quickly, I'd rather not just leave you here forever. The first thing we're going to go through is an engine. The best one is simply the tactical onslaught engine. If you don't have it, the regular onslaught engine will do fine. If you don't, then put on whatever other the fastest engine you have in the game is that will fit on this hole. That takes care of movement as well as tactical field resist. You could also put on something for your next special is going to be an evade stun resist special. In this case, it is agility system four. I like this one a whole lot. If you don't use the tactical onslaught engine, go ahead and throw on the ECM dampener. It gives you evade and tactical on and tactical field resist. So this takes care of your evade, your stun resist, your slow resist, and tactical field resist. It's pretty good to specials here. Two of these that are pretty much required and should be on every single build if you have them. The next two are going to be building damage specials. And the best one in the game is really no questions asked, the Siege Targeting 4 plus 165%. If you really want to do more damage against ships and not buildings, Invasion Scanner is okay, but it's going to do way, way, way less building damage total. Other things, if you really need projectile speed, high velocity rounds could work. I don't see that as being really important at all. It's almost a no questions asked Siege Targeting from me. Next one you go for is a battery. You have two options here actually. You have Conquest Battery, which gives you slightly higher damage, Turret Defense, which is decent but not great, as well as bonus combat speed. Instead, you could go for the Assault Battery MKCOM, which gives you a decent amount of corrosive damage plus 25%, building damage, and a neg negligible amount of turret defense that's lower than the base stats on the whole anyway. If you want corrosive damage, use Assault Battery. If you want building damage and movement speed, use Conquest Battery. I'm throwing this one on here for the movement speed. If you don't think that's important, go for the other one. And again, the intent of this build video is not to tell you this is 100% the best build. It's to share a few ideas and why I'm picking certain specials over other ones so you can understand what I'm doing rather than just say copying it completely. But if you want to, I'll include this build in the build stock in the description below. All right. The last two specials are going to be damage type specific weapons, or weapon type specific damage, however you want to phrase that. This is a multi-shot special, so, or multi-shot weapon, so it will benefit from throwing multi-shot on here. The ones that I like happen to be 
these two right here, scatter system and corrosive diffusion system. You might say, why not roaring barrel system? It gives you three multi-shot and gives you corrosive damage. Well, corrosive damage is the problem here, and it won't stack with any other secondary corrosive damage specials, which is something you really do have to pay attention to. So don't just throw this one on here because it's the best. You might want to put a worse one on because it stacks with something else that makes that combination better. Pretty weird if you get into it. Now, you could go with the plus three multi-shot and a whole bunch of reload here from corrosive diffusion system. I actually happen to like scatter system a little bit better because it does give less multi-shot, but it gives more combat speed. I think combat speed could be quite important. Watching these replays, you will notice the hole is quite slow. So I'm going to throw on scatter system here because I think it is better. And then this last special here is going to be another corrosive damage thing, as well as a splash spread modification. Corrosive or Compressed Corrosion Canisters 2, try saying that one 10 times fast, is my preferred special for this one because it gives you negative spread, which is great for this hole and having it have more concentrated fire, lots of splash, and lots of corrosive damage. It is a pretty nice one to go for. This looks like to me to be my special configuration, and let's quickly discuss armors. Now, you remember the deflections you have zero or negative of are the ballistic and penetrative. For that reason, I'm going to throw on each one of these so you couldn't build a rapid fire ballistic or missile hole that does a whole bunch of damage to your fleet. You could make arguments that there's no missiles in today's current meta, and you'd probably be right unless someone builds a Gorgon to counterbuild you. So I'm thinking that these two really make sense. If you don't want to use them and you want to be a little bit riskier, then maybe you can leave these things off. You'll notice that deflections are fairly high across the board. For that reason, I don't know it makes sense to add corrosive or radioactive deflection going from 500k to 700 or 675k. It doesn't really make sense to me to do that. These numbers are already fairly high. Yes, you will still get damaged, but a reduction of the values of the deflection on the armor plates aren't really the best option here, in my opinion. Instead, notice evade is only at 45%, you want that way higher, and combat speed is at 43, 45, 43. I think the best thing is going to be to buff these up with a D5 EV plate. Other options do include stun resist, which you don't need because you're already at pretty much max stun resist at 94 out of 100, and you could even use a D6 TA armor if you really wanted to for even more tactical field resist, but I don't really think that that will be helpful. You know, D D6TA is the option here. You already have so much tactical field resist, I don't think it's very helpful. Instead, I'm going for the D5EV, which will give you evade and combat slash slash turn speed. This is a really nice armor and helps out a lot, bringing evade up to 63%, and movement speed is up to 46, a very small change, but maybe this matters enough. All right, well, I want to keep this video short. If you have questions, comments, things that you did differently than what I have, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. I always learn stuff from you guys as well who give different options, and if you are looking for a different option for something, go ahead and scroll down to the YouTube comments and people will help you out there. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Last time I did a background video with things playing off to the right, most of you seem to enjoy that. Let me know if you do like that same thing. Anyway, thank you so much to people whose names appear on screen, and as always, this is Derpy, signing out, helping you be a better pirate.